I suppose we were just never on top uh, long enough in that game. Uh, no, um, they took their chance as well when they came their way and um, we had probably a few unforced errors there in the first half that gave them that 6-0 cushion at half time, worked our way back in well um, and then you know within two or three minutes we've copped off uh, two more uh, penalties and they k take their chances when they come their way and uh, we give them credit for the way that they played, they played a good pressure game, uh, put us under pressure in a number of places and uh, capitalised on it. I suppose the crucial period was uh, the sin binning and we just didn't make the most of that. Well, that's, that's the way those sin bins can go sometimes, you know, whether teams lift their game or dep depending on what happens. Uh, but that's an area that obviously we'll have to take a look at because um, I firmly believe that once we get our own stuff right, then uh, we'll always be in a good place against opposition. But today we weren't quite in the money. What are your thoughts on the set piece? Obviously, the focus of a lot of attention before the match. Yeah, I did. I thought our scrum was on top, really, for large parts of the game. Uh, we got the few penalties out of it, you know, their decisions and that as the game goes on. Um, uh, the you know the line outs uh, because of the way the game was played they were kicking down a lot of ball onto us and they were putting us under pressure on one or two of those but um, you know the scrum I felt our scrum was good but I never had any real concerns about going in like I say I know that once we concentrate on things then we can get ourselves we're in a good place and obviously a pretty cruel blow to, to lose both uh, Zebo and Sexton in the first half yeah obviously that can be a little bit disruptive to plans as well then too but that we've always thought about it being a 23 man squad so that's came in did a good job like I say we got ourselves back to six all. Uh, you know, it's been a strange day, and um, but you know those knocks and bangs when they do come early on like that, it can um, affect the way that you go about your business. Well, well, I don't know. Did you see the Keen Healy incident as well in the first half? May attract uh, the attention of the sighting commissioner. No, I didn't. I didn't see anything. I saw. I saw a lot of English bodies over the ball a lot of times, and uh, so I haven't seen anything. The triple crown and grand slam gone now. Of course, what can Ireland get from the championship now? Well, it's, uh, we've oft, we've always talked about taking a game at a time. Every time you put on the green jersey, there's a chance to represent Ireland, and we'll do that in the next match. This is this championship is a long way from being over yet. It was a tight game today. Uh, I think uh, we just have to go about our business. We've had three matches left, and then see where we end up. But you know, France are in London next time up. Uh, England have to go to Wales as well then too. So um, there's still a lot to play for. Okay, Declan, thank you. Okay, thank you.